This garage sale was full of mysteries and we are going to talk about what I mean by that. But this bag right here, wait until you see what's in this bag and you'll understand. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, this is a garage sale that I go to frequently. Um, they go to auctions and they buy box lots and then they have garage sales. These Lego sets, I still have to look into those. I'm not sure if they're new or if they're just um, taped up. I did sell that little uh, Bambi right there. It sold on auction and it sold super fast. So this is the little toy section. She does kind of section things out, which is really nice. So you guys know me, I love toys. So that's one of the first places that I go to. I do have a box in hand ready to stuff it. I picked up this little keychain right here and I actually did a video on my other channel because I'm not certain if that is real or not. Some of you said it's real. I thought it was fake based on my, um, research but a few people said it was real so check out that video it looks like this and let me know what you think i do close-ups and everything and show you comps and why i came up with the determination that i did i did pick up that chico's belt i do have that listed i popped up a screenshot earlier so all of the items that you're going to see in this video are currently listed in my ebay store there is a link for that down below if you guys want to check out my ebay store now this bag right here was incredible and this is the stuff I love to find. They are small items. They are items that I know nothing about. And I love researching. But the items in that bag are a mystery. I'm really, really struggling with how to price them. A lot of them, I couldn't find the exact item. And I just kind of priced it how I thought I should price it. So I may be a little off on prices. I did grab this cute little bear hanger. I've got that listed. Um, but we're going to go into that bag of stuff at the end of the video. I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm going to show you how I test for Bakelite. So a little lesson at the end, if you haven't seen one of my Bakelite videos. And I'm going to show you how I price that stuff. And you guys can let me know if you think I'm high, if you think I'm low. Um, I do uh, list my items at a high end of comps. So high end of solds. I research solds and I will price on the high end. So I typically will take a best offer. I do run sales. They start immediately and I do two sales a week and usually 30 to 40, I'm sorry, 30 to 38% off. I haven't hit 40% off yet, but I may do that around um, maybe right before Christmas when things are kind of slow, everybody's done with their Christmas shopping. I don't know. But uh 38% is my max right now. I did pick up this little right here. Um, I believe it's a shell. I know it's a shell, but uh, Mother of Pearl, I think it was. I've got it in the listing. I'm popping that up for you guys. And I just thought it was really different and pretty. I did find one comp on that. I'm thinking I probably should have gotten this shell as well, but I did leave that behind. That one is an abalone shell and it's kind of like a trinket dish. So maybe next time she has a garage sale, maybe I'll grab that. You guys let me know if you think I should have grabbed the abalone shell. And again, I was telling you that I'm going to open that bag at the end of the video and talk about each item that was in there. Just some really cool 19, I think it said 40s to 1960s vintage items. Some of them are Cracker Jack items, which can do really, really well. Cracker Jack items can be a big money bolo. I don't think anything in there is going to be huge money. Like, I don't think I found this amazing bolo, but I did find some really great items that I think are going to have some decent selling prices. But again, some of them I just could not find comps on. This right here I was going to get, but um, it had the actual price written on it underneath that sticker. So I decided to leave that behind because it was damaged. There was no way for me to get that marker off. So I did end up putting that back really cute item that I definitely would have picked up had it been um, not marked on. So she has a really great eye and finds really great stuff. She does buy a lot of breakables and um, 
things that I don't like to ship. So I am sure that I missed some items at this sale. So if you guys see anything that you would have picked up that I passed by, definitely let me know that in the comments. Would love your feedback. I'm not like totally against shipping breakables, but if it's really, really big um, and it's breakable, I just typically pass. But smaller items, um, I'll do it. I just, it's just not my favorite thing, but I know that I need to branch out and not be so scared to ship those items. And most of the time um, when I ship them, it's fine. The problem that I run into is the time that it takes me to package it and feel confident that it's going to make it. I, I think I overpack. Let me know if you're an overpacker in the comments. So she's got stuff hanging up, just a really, really pretty display. It's a really pretty garage sale. She does a great job. And I feel like her pricing is fair. Um, some things I will negotiate with, but normally I just pay her asking price. I did one video where I bought all of these dolls and I basically just took the box of dolls to her and I said, what do you want for all of them instead of trying to like add it up? And um, I do have a video on that. It looks like this. Uh, definitely go check that out. I found some really fun um, dolls. And there were definitely some bolos in that video. So if you missed it, you definitely want to check it out. All right. So checking out the tables here. Again, pictures, not something I typically pick up. More because I don't like to ship them. Um, I do have some. I recently just sold this ginormous uh, poster that was framed and that thing took forever to sell, but I ended up tweaking the words in the title, and after I did that, it sold. So I think I just had bad keywords, um, like an important keyword was missing, and I fixed it, and it sold pretty quickly. That um, kind of looks like that one brand. Is it something Capa de Monte or something, but I don't think it was. These, I was like, oh, come on, be Yadro, and they weren't. <laughs> I'm still waiting to find a piece of Yadro now that I know how to say it. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> That's one word I used to say, Ladro, and everybody's like, no, it's Yadro, and I'm like, okay. So she does have jewelry. Um, the sale before, which is the video I was telling you guys about, I did pick up some jewelry, so you can check out that video if you want to see the jewelry that I bought. I don't think I picked up any this time. I don't think there was anything new. Um, again, over the summer, she usually has one every month, every, maybe every month and a half. So a lot of times you're going to see the same items. This is the first time I have recorded at her garage sale. Um, the last time it was just in a haul video, an unboxing. So, but lots of great stuff and definitely recommend you guys checking out that video because I learned a lot from those dolls. There was one doll that was a folk art doll and it sold super fast for good money. Um, just kind of really shocked me. It's not something that I would have picked up. And because I just bought the whole box, I made myself research and I couldn't find any comparables on it. So I priced it. Uh, I can't remember if it was an auction or if I just priced it high, but I'll have all that information in that other video. And I was getting ready to do the voiceover and I realized I already had all of my pictures popped up, my screen shares popped up, and I realized that I deleted those photos from my phone. So all of those screenshots are now missing and I have to redo them. Oh my goodness, talk about creating more work for myself. So um, after I do this voiceover, I have to go back and pop up. Actually, I have to go to eBay. I have to find each and every um, active listing and sold listing, screenshot them, and then pop them up. So I created probably an extra 30, 40 minutes of work for myself um, that was already done. So Oh, the life of a YouTuber. I will tell you guys, when you watch these videos, it, it's like, you know, 15, 20 minutes and it's, there's a lot that goes into it. So definitely show some love to the people you're watching with a comment and a like and a subscribe if you like their content, because they're putting a lot of time into these uh, videos. They seem short and like it would be really easy, but it's, it's a lot. But I thank you all so much for being here. I thank you for watching. I love YouTube. Um, I'm definitely not complaining, but for those of you that don't do YouTube, I think, um, I, I don't think you realize the amount of time it takes to edit a silly little video, a garage sale video. So 
but it's fun work. And if you're not on YouTube and you're thinking about it, it is definitely super fun and very, very rewarding um, to see people like watching your video and enjoying what you're doing and leaving you feedback that they learned something and they found a bolo. Super rewarding. Okay, so I went over to the other table and sometimes she has other people set up booths or tables at her sale. So this was another lady's sale. And I'm kind of looking through here for some of those big money uh, wood stamps that I know about. I did a video on it. Check out this video if you haven't seen it because there are certain ones that you can get a hundred dollars a stamp. It is absolutely crazy. So um, I did see these little wood uh, puzzles here. I thought they were really neat. I don't know, should I pick these up? Especially the dinosaur one, just super, super cool. Um, she was negotiable on her pricing for these. I probably should have bought them all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, just really neat pieces, but I thought they were going to be hard to research and figure out. So, but, uh, and, and if, uh, how to get that thing together, who knows if I accidentally took it apart, I'd probably be working on that for hours. That's a turtle shell. I don't, I don't know if you're allowed to sell those or not on eBay. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Um, I did, let's see, maybe I should have got that. I don't know. There were so many interesting things on the table. And again, they're breakables and I just don't, I don't know a ton about it. So if you see something I missed, again, put it down in the comments for me. That would be awesome. And those little things, like those are small. I would definitely pick those up to, to sell. She did have some shoes down here. And do you see those green boots? I'm going to take you around and show you in a minute. Um, I probably maybe should have got those. Those are Toms. Those usually do. I do decent with Toms, but I bought these for myself. Um, they're actually a size 10 and I wear a size nine, but I'm like, I can make these work. Um, I think the brand is Sanook. You pronounce it like that. And I'm not, I may be saying it wrong, but I really love their sandals. And I saw these and I'm like, I didn't even know they made boots. And I'm not big on used shoes, but they were clean and they didn't smell bad. So I bought those for myself and I actually love them. So uh, I'm wearing a size 10. <laughs> They're a little big. I actually tripped up my steps because you know how um, when shoes are too big, you kind of have to learn how to make, I don't know. They're not huge, but they have a little lip on the end too. That may have been why. <laughs> so I bought myself some shoes. Uh, chosen Goods reseller, if you're watching, are you proud of me that I bought myself a pair of used shoes from a garage sale? All right. I hate picking up shoes because I don't like to clean them. So it's just kind of funny. All right. What else do we have? Checking out this stuff right here. I don't think... I bought anything else, but we are going to go over and we are going to open up that bag of goodies here shortly. I could be wrong. Let's see. Just double checking. These are linens and things like that. And I do pick up linens from time to time, but didn't see anything really that stood out that I had to have. Got some books over here. So I'm really just looking for anything that pops out. I do have a tendency to pick up books that are sets. So if it's a series and there's multiple books that go together, I will do that. I, this one, you know, I probably could have made a profit on this. I did uh, use Google Lens and look this up and I decided to pass on it. Again, I probably could have made money. It's a nice little item, but the comps weren't crazy good. So I just left it behind. I was thinking about, oh, I got to ship that. And I was like, you're going to stay right there. I think those are Tupperware. Um, I know that Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger does amazing with vintage Tupperware over on her channel. Um, definitely check her out if you have not already. Uh, Looking here at some of the purses. This, I mean, just a well put together garage sale. If you guys really think she does a good job of, you know, categorizing things and making it nice, uh, drop that in the comments. All right, this is a pop-up book and I would have picked this up. Comps were pretty good on it but I believe it had some damage. So I left that behind. I can't remember. It was either damp. Yep. Right there. I thought it was damaged because the comps weren't too bad. And I believe boss lady. <gasps> Should I have got that? I am not the boss lady. This right here 
what do you guys think about that? And then I was like, well, I'm going to look under the tables. So I started pulling stuff out from under the tables. And um, I remember looking that one up the last time I was there. She didn't put it out this time. Maybe I should have got that. I feel like it was like a puppet show or something like that. But I didn't end up getting it. I went back to this teapot. I'm still thinking about it, but I did leave it behind. If you guys would have grabbed the teapot, let me know down in the comments. Did have a little scuff. Kind of reminds me of that uh, brown drip that I got, but it wasn't. And that was not a good buy. So here are some little um, ashtrays. I'm wondering if this green one was maybe um, Vaseline glass. I don't know. I, I left them behind. This I did look up. Um, comps were okay. They weren't as good as I thought they would be. So I left that behind. That hen right there. I don't know. Maybe I should have got that. Does it have on a Santa hat or is that the top of its head? Uh, I know some of those can do well. I think it had um, a hairline crack in it. So um, that's not a Santa hat. That's its, that's its rooster thing. <laughs> that was a piece of Pyrex. This is probably a million dollar Pyrex that I missed. I don't know patterns super well. I think it was Pyrex. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. I go to so many garage sales. I do pick up Scentsy Warmers. I left that one behind. All right. Okay, so she wrote 1950s, 1960s on the bag. Um, I did not verify dates of anything. So we are just going to look through this and see what we have here. Uh, these are dice. Are they eight sided dice? I think they're eight sided dice. The mittens I just threw to the side. I'm going to put those in like a junk lot. I don't know that they would really sell individually. Maybe they would, uh, to a crafter or somebody who has a doll. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I have not done anything with those yet. Um, these are the dice. So I decided that I wanted to test them with, uh, for Bakelite. I use this semi-chrome polish. It is super cheap on eBay and it lasts forever. I've probably had this, I don't know, two or three years and you can see the bottles full. You use a very tiny little bit and you rub it on what you think could be Bakelite. If it stays pink, it is not Bakelite. If it turns yellow, it is. So this is definitely not Bakelite, um, but definitely worth checking. It's also good to wipe the item down before you do it. Otherwise, you could have some dirt residue that could make you um, think that it's something when it's not. So, womp womp, not Bakelite, but I did go ahead and list those on eBay and the screenshot will pop up. All right, we are going to keep going through this bag. I think they are poker dice, if I remember correctly. It'll be in the screenshot. And some of the paint wear had some paint loss. So I'm not expecting those to be a big money bolo or anything like that or even sell fast. Uh, there's some cute items in here. Um, these little um, pistols right here, revolvers, I think they are. I could not find exact comps on these. I think they are Cracker Jack or Gumball Machine toys. They are metal. They're really cool. This little clown, again, I could not find the exact same one. This ring, I think, is just trash. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not 14 karat gold. <laughs> Adjustable ring. I think it was just junk. It was all bent up. So I threw that to the side. Um, you can see it's just trashed. But uh, the two little revolvers and the clown, I did list those. Now in this one, we've got, I okay, is this a schnauzer? I can't remember what I actually put it as. It kind of looks like a Schnauzer or a Scotty dog. So there's two of those brooches. I did list those. Good thing about dog items is people that have that type of dog, they want those, those items. They're collectible. I think this is a Cracker Jack bracelet. Uh, one of the charms was on another piece, so I did attach that. And I've got this listed on the higher end because I could not find exactly one like it with the same charms and everything. So I'm hoping that one's going to do well, but so far nobody has picked that up. Some of these items I just put to the side. I'm going to put them in a, again, like a junk lot or um, maybe I'll put them in a whatnot lot um, where I'm just selling a bunch of miscellaneous pieces. Um, these would be good crafters items. I did list these. They are, um, I 
think they just fold over their metal and they fold over and you can pin them on like your shoes or your shirt or whatever. Another Cracker Jack item, just a fun little lot of stuff. I put the spoon to the side. Maybe I should have listed that spoon because it was really cute. Um, but sometimes when I'm doing this, I just get overwhelmed and I just stop. I'm like, okay, this is going to go to the side. I'm just going to put this in a lot. I may come back to it and actually list it, but for now, no. This is an elephant. I believe it's a Cracker Jack toy as well. And sometimes I just won't list things because I cannot figure out keywords. This one had like mold or something on it. So that went in the trash can. Um, it happens, <laughs> but it was just too gross for me. I'm not cleaning it. I'm not messing with it. It's just, it, it, no, it's going in the trash. And if you would have cleaned it up, let me know in the comments. This here is um, a little cross, probably a handmade deal right there. So that'll probably go in a crafter's lot. Some marbles, I put those to the side. I usually give marbles to my husband and he has like a little collection. I don't know enough about them. I know some can be worth money, but most are not. Um, these little bells are also gonna go in that a little crafter's lot. I mean, somebody can definitely use these items to, to craft. These are jacks. Now, I know that some jacks can be worth big money. I don't know if these are or not. There's that little charm. So I added that over to that bracelet. I put the, these two marbles with the other marbles. And then I think I just put the jacks to the side or I don't think I listed them yet. I'm not sure what to do about those. So they're to the side for now. Okay, let's see. I think that is it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.